today i want to tell you guys the reason why i left my religious group i didn't leave this group because they don't know the bible they know the bible too well whatever they want to do they apply the bible in it but it's the bible itself that i started to doubt i started to see christianity as a scam because when we gather as in bible study they are reading some bible portions as you are reading it i started to think because it's thinking reasoning that will help anybody that want to live christianity to live it successfully if you don't want to reason you they will use that fear the fear of you are if you do this you are in the side of god if you do this you are in the side of satan you know there are always god and satan in the christianity that is the bible so there you have so many do's and don'ts of which when you see start paying attention to it you see so many reasons to doubt it when they are telling you the story about that god of the bible how he dealt with the israelites as we are reading it in the place we gather to study the bible i started to think about it i said if this is really how this god dealt with these israelites the ancient people he's very wicked now start to tell the story about pharaoh and all that i said that he's the cause of the whole thing of which if you want to reason you see that he's the cause of it because he can change the heart of pharaoh but he decided not to now i start to think about when we are studying about job i look at it as as something that a game that he, he played him and his friend because that thing didn't look like a conversation between two enemies satan and god as they said that his satan is his arch enemy but it looked like something that happened between two friends so they now use job to do the gambling so i started looking at so many things now um they say that we are one big family what happens in a family in a family all of us that belong to a family know what happens in a family when a child offends the father other family members will not stop talking to that child as in they will not stop talking to that child all of them will still be talking to the child is the father that the child offended like myself now i can't go to my mom and my mom will tell me don't greet this person don't greet this person they are my enemies no myself i don't have enemies if you offend me i will confront you anybody that knows me will say that i will confront you i will tell you i don't like this i don't see what you did and the, that will give you the room to apologize if if you don't even if you do not apologize tomorrow i will still greet you i will continue greeting you unless if you on your own if something can happen that you tell me keep your greetings to yourself that is when i will stop greeting you so now a father as they said who left us on the earth and he is in heaven the bad rules we are experiencing everything that we are experiencing on earth he is not experiencing any of them and for that reason he doesn't care to provide any solution he's where he is and they, they are telling us that there will be a time when he will uh, give attention to all our problems so we should just continue to to do the things they wrote in the bible as his wills so now i start to think this father when a brother whom all of us love so dearly in our religious group this person is someone that everybody loves now one day they just climb the platform to announce that he is no longer one of us what did he do this person they said that he's no longer one of us we still see him the next day you come to bible study you still see him come to study hmm? you still see him on the road when you see him you remove your eyes somebody like me that doesn't like keeping enemies when i see this person and they remove my eye the person did not offend me personally it's something that he they said he offended god according to the bible and this god that he offended the bible also said that he has every right to reconcile with him 
he have he will be, he will be having communication to him through prayers but myself whom he did not offend or did not offend him or her we cease talking with him or her whenever i am seen discussing with the person i will be confronted to rem to be reminded that I, I should quit having a communication with the person i started seeing all these things as things that are not right so that made me that i started greeting people those people they said they are no longer one of us whom i cannot remember when they offended me the person they offended they are free to discuss with the person to communicate with the person myself that did not do anything that they themselves has not offended will not see them as an enemy i said no so i kept greeting them so it now happened that there is one this person is too close to me both him and the wife what the the client left from one day and announced that he's no longer one of us what did he do that he impregnated another person and this person he impregnated he did not deny the pregnancy in short he was even planning to get married to her